TFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 1 p.m. update. And currently, we've got most of the U.S. indices trading to the upside. The Dow's up 400 points. Which one is it? It's the Dow Transports. They're down 29 points. Uh, I think that's mostly because of uh, FedEx's uh, move to the downside. The S&P is up 47. The NASDAQ, 133. The Russell's up 34 points. That's near, <coughs> nearly 1 in 6 tenths percent to the upside. Let's go take a look at our nine panel market update uh, chart out here. You know, before we begin with this, let me just share with you what I believe is going on. Uh, we've got the uh, Fed coming out at uh, two o'clock. They pushed markets right to the level where this could break to either side. So here is a 60 minute time frame chart for the ES mini. These green horizontal lines, they are the TD9 breakdown levels. That's where any rally should fail. So if we take a look at what has transpired so far this great this day, the numbers are great, you know, as far as uh, but but really it's about understanding where support and resistance is. And these are not like Stevie just drew these in. These are based upon the TD9 count uh, uh, tools and system. And you really should want to learn this. So we're right now, price gets right up to that level. And this is really where the rally should end. Uh, and uh, now, of course, if this is going to turn into a bearish market, I mean, directionally speaking, with a continued uh, retracement into the middle of October or so, then we'll see 43, 23, 25 and 42.93.75 go ahead and fail. So it is really the 60 minute time frame of all the four futures contracts. It is this time frame that is providing us with the best signals. And what we can see is live here at 101 in the afternoon. We can see how price got up to that level. Sure, it closed just above it. But you know Stevie's rule of having two days above the top of that uh, uh, breakdown level or a, a resistance area. And we didn't get that. So that's what's going on inside the markets. So we're not really going to get a chance here to get to all of these charts. We'll do that during the uh, Trader's Ed show. But here we can see the ES Mini. What we know is there's no change in trend. Now, a change in trend will only take place when we see a close below the bottom of a weekly profile. And on the ES Mini, that's at 43.12. And on the NQ, that's at 14.802. I see the NQ is trying to form a new profile, as is the ES. We'll talk about that during the Trader's Edge show. But those profiles will not be confirmed until this evening. Folks, if you're off to start your Wednesday, have a wonderful one. Thanks so much for joining us. And uh, we'll see you in a few.